Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It is good to be back. Uh, we're here with uh, the Boxing Bookie bringing down the house. We're going to show you how to make money on, ready for this, Junto Nakatani versus Argy Cortez. This fight is on Monday, September 18th. Uh, we're going to get into it. We're going to break it down for you. Uh, we're going to show you how you can make money on this fight. Um but before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. Follow us on, uh, also follow uh, the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That is Texas Boxing Scene um, on YouTube. All proceeds from that channel go to autism research and recovery. All right, let's get into today's show. Um, the Boxing Bookie has been killing it for you. I need you to track this, keep this um, in mind, show you how much money I am making uh, on each card. Um, this is uh, a Monday card. Um, it's in Japan. Um, it's an interesting fight to bet. I, I think there's some room to make money in it. And typically, we use um, DraftKings. Today, we're going to use FanDuel. FanDuel has props on this, and I really think the only way you can make money um, is on uh, props on this fight. Um, FanDuel has them, uh, and we're going to get into it. Uh, but before we do, I, I think the world of Junto Nakatani, um, you know, they, him and Bam Rodriguez is really the fight that needs to get made. Um, him coming up, Junto coming up from 112 to 115, and Bam going down from 115 to 112, they just missed each other. They were going to fight each other for Junto's belt, but, um, you know, he vacated it uh, to go to 115, and then he had the uh, sensational knockout, the knockout of the year. Um, over Maloney, um, and now he's back. RG Cortez is a good little fighter that fights his level of competition. Um, he, he fights surprisingly well for a guy for going backwards, right? Like he likes to stand there, but he'll go backwards. He can fight a little bit off the back foot. He fires right hands, fires hooks um, from, uh, from off the back foot. Uh, he's, he's rugged. He's going to stand in toe to toe. Um, and that's why I, I kind of like him to get knocked out. He, like I said, um, he had the sensational performance against Estrada fight of his life. Uh, I had it six to six, the knockdown being the difference. So I had him losing, uh, 114, 113, which one of the judges did. The other two had it 115, 112. Um, it was an incredibly entertaining fight. It was low key fight of the candidate of 2022. Not a ton of people watched it. Uh, in Mexico, he came back on another Golden Boy card and probably got a lucky decision with Eric Lope, uh, Eric Omar um, Lopez. Eric Lopez, um, he was dropped a couple of times. Lopez had a point deducted uh, for hitting in the back of the head, if I recall. Um, and he, he got, one of the judges had a wide for for Lopez. Um, the other two had a little bit more narrow for uh, for Cortez. Uh, it seems like. He probably got the benefit of the doubt there. Then there was an off television fight, or if I, at least I didn't see. He just fought Adolfo Castillo Gonzalez, in which he got another majority decision. Although the, scar, the scores are all over the place, I couldn't find it. 99 93, 97 93, 95 95. So it's either nine rounds to one, he dominated, or a draw. So it's probably an entertaining fight. Couldn't find it. That was in Chihuahua. Um, and now he fights Nakatani in Japan. Um, Nakatani, like I think the world of him. Um, he's got this really high, you know, he's tall for the weight class. Um, you know, he can he can use his jab from the outside. He sits down, he's a southpaw, he sets up, he walks you into the left hand, uh, he, he makes you pay. He's got a powerful, snappy jab. Um he rips uppercuts on the inside. He can. He also rips long range uppercuts with both hands. Uh, he said he blew away Maloney. Uh, that was his second fight at 115. He fought uh, Francisco Rodriguez in Japan as well. Took a decision from him. 
besides that, he's knocked everyone out um, recently. He has not been going the distance. And, and with a guy like Cortez, we're going to get into this. It seems like Cortez is going to fight him hard. But I, I think Nakatani is a bigger puncher, and I think he's better than Frank, uh, Francisco Estrada. I think if Nakatani fought a guy on next, I, I think Nakatani beats him. Um, I think if he fought Bam Rodriguez, that's the fight right there. Who knows who wins that fight? It's it, it, it's a style. Bam's going to work his angles, get on the inside, rip off combinations. Can he consistently get in on Nakatani? If he does, does that work out for him? Nakatani has more paths to victory in that fight, I truly believe. But Bam Rodriguez um, you know, is explosive um, and, and, and just his footwork, his speed, his, and, and his explosiveness makes him a lot to deal with. I would, I don't know. Uh, but that's not the fight. The fight's RG Cortez, um, and it, it's a good one. Um, it, it, I expect this to be fireworks, and I expect it to go uh, – not go the distance. All right, and we're going to show you how to bet this. Uh, let me get this pulled up for you guys on, on, on how I'm going to bet this fight. Again, I'm in Texas. We don't have legal sports betting in Texas. Uh, we typically use uh, – DraftKings, unfortunately, they don't have props on this, so we are using um, FanDuel. FanDuel gives pretty good odds. I just like the layout of uh, FanDuel better, which is why I typically use it. Um, but the money line is not paying, okay? The money line, and, and this is going to be a good fight, but Nakatani is going to win it. I hate these odds. Like, guys, if you really want to do that, you could do it. I wouldn't recommend it. RG Cortez, the odds are paying really well, and, and he's got a shot, but he's not going to win this fight. Nakatani is a physical beast. He's really good. I mean, there's not much not to like about Nakatani. Nakatani is going to win this fight. So uh, and I'm going to bet this twice, right? So I'm doing a $200 bet. And a $200 bet is only going to win you $1,250, okay? But this is why I, I, I'm using FanDuel so that we can still make some money on this. All right, we're also going to go Junto, Junto Nakatani by stoppage. Those odds are a little better. A hundred dollar bet wins you sixty eight ninety seven, so it wins you about sixty nine bucks. Okay, that's a little better. Um, then will the fight go the distance? Well, obviously, if Nakatani knocks him out, the answer to that is no. I don't know why this isn't paying as well. <laughs> this doesn't make any sense. They should be. The same, they're not. This is paying sixty dollars twenty four cents. It doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to me why there would be such a big spread uh, in between these two. So the bet is uh, Nakatani by stoppage inside the distance. Uh, so we're going to bet one times on the, the it not going the distance, and that's going to pay you sixty bucks. Uh, we're going to pay one time. Uh, but not to win by KO. And then we're going to bet uh, two times on Nakatani uh, to win, right? So it's a two to one bet for Nakatani. It's a two times bet for Nakatani and then one times each by KO and, and, and another one inside the distance. Um, keep that in mind. And again, I use 100 for easy numbers. However, you want to bet that, whatever you're comfortable with betting with. Remember, I don't bet, uh, but I'm just doing this so that you can bring down the house and make money. So all that $400 bet would win you $141.71. So you'd walk away with a $400 bet, $541.71. Again, this, but I, I feel this is pretty easy to bet, right? Like I, I feel this is, it, it, it's fairly simple. Um, there's just not, you know, again, Nakatani should be a huge favorite. Nakatani is a beast. He's an animal. Um, you know, he's, he's got a jab. Uh, he can keep you off of him. He, if you get inside, he's going to rip you out. He, he can blow you on the inside with both hands. He's a really powerful puncher. He's fundamentally sound. Uh, like I said, he keeps himself low. He doesn't get hit unnecessarily. He's defensively responsible, not spectacular, right? He's not going to show the role. He's not going to make you miss like that, but he's going to avoid shots. He's going to move his head. He's going to keep his head up to the line. He's going to do enough to make you miss. Cortez is going to be on the inside. Cortez loves the brawl. Cortez may even try going backwards because, he, again, he fights well going backwards. He showed that against Estrada. 
right? And, and not like Lara or, or, or Billy Joe Saunders, right? But he rip shots, rip shots, set, sets himself uh, going backwards. He can rip off powerful shots going backward. He's a good little fighter. Um, oh, geez. What happened there? Okay. He's a good little fighter. He's got a ton of uh, skill, a ton of heart. Uh, he's been dropped, though, right? Like, he's been dropped because he gets hit so much. You can't get hit by Nakatani that much and expect to go the distance. So I truly believe your best bet is Nakatani. It's not going to – you know, you're not going to get rich off this fight, but you can make money off it. And if you keep betting these fights, I'm going to consistently show you how to make money on these, okay? Um that's how you make money on this one. Uh, we will catch you on the next one. This is 3D, follow, this is 3D Boxing. Follow me on all forms of social media, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Also subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. Uh, all proceeds from that channel go to Autism Research and Recovery. It is September 12th, 2023 from Texas to the world. Thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.